Okay, now that we know how dependencies work, let's take a look at how we would launch uh, documents in a standalone viewer. So basically it's going to apply the same way for all of our different document formats here. Uh, Word format, PowerPoint format, PDF, and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the PowerPoint and Word formats for now. The same things that we learn here with the PDF format are going to apply to those formats as well. And I'm going to duplicate our PDF label and I'm going to call this second label. I'm just going to space it out by I here. I'm going to call it PDF2 and that's going to launch our standalone PDF. Okay, so we're going to go into the Actions tab here. We're going to get rid of our flash load action that's on here and we're going to swap it out for a file open action. So we're going to click on add action and from the file category we're going to double click on file open and then in the file name area we're going to push on this little ellipsis button and under the project tab in the docs folder choose our PDF file. I'm going to press OK and I'm going to leave everything else set to the default there and press finish and then I'm going to press OK. Now that's going to launch our PDF file as a standalone file whenever it's clicked. Now the only thing that we need to do here is change the dependencies to include the PDF format. So it's going to check for the Acrobat Reader. Let's go ahead and go into Project, Dependencies. We've got our dependency from our last project in here and we've got our Acrobat Reader dependency. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the Macromedia Flash dependency because we don't need it. We've demonstrated it. We know it's installed on our machine. Let's focus on the Acrobat Reader dependency for this lesson. Okay, so that's the top one here and it's going to check for Acrobat Reader 4.0 or higher by default. And that's the default setup here. You can go ahead and change those values down here if you want to. But we're going to leave that set to the default. I'll just move this out so we can quickly go through them. As you can see, there's the screen text, Acrobat Reader 4.0 or Adobe Acrobat 4.0. Minimum version, 4.0.0.0 message. Click here to download the latest version and there's the download link and here we've got the variable that's going to return the installed version and we've got our requirements set to true. There's our information on the detection script and we're going to leave our custom dialog set with this default text. We'll go ahead and press OK and now we've got our dependency in place. The project will not run unless that version of Acrobat Reader or Acrobat is installed. So let's go ahead and press F5 and see what happens. As you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and our, our application against a dark window and we can see what's going on. Okay, so we've got our different labels here. Our PDF label obviously corresponds to the original PDF being displayed in the flash object like we see here. And our PDF2 is going to launch the same PDF, but the original PDF version of it in the standalone viewer. Now our application ran fine, so we know that it found a version higher than the required version of Acrobat Reader because we required that. Let's go ahead and click on as you can see here it launches the document in Adobe Acrobat and we can go ahead and view it in the native application and of course we have all the options that go along with that and so forth. This is kinda nice because everything comes out crystal clear um, as opposed to when you convert it to a Swift. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close that down. I'll close down our application and we'll go back to our main workspace here and I'm just gonna remind you at this point that the same concept that we had here applies also to the other formats. We'll go back to project dependencies and take a look. As you can see in the applications area, we could do the same thing with an Excel application, a PowerPoint uh, presentation, um, Microsoft Word document, and so forth. So this is a great way to to launch things in standalone players in cases where you want the user to have the original functionality of that application. For example, RealPlayer is an application where when you embed the technology, you tend to lose a lot of functionality. So typically, if you were going to deploy a real video, you would probably want to launch it in the standalone player. So this is a great way to do that. Okay, so let's go on to the next video lesson now. And we'll take a look at how we can actually deploy these same types of documents, in this case a PDF via a web browser object, instead of a Flash object or a standalone viewer.